Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, March 13th, 2020. I'm Freddie C. Lybird. A total of £7,000 of onions will be available for purchase at this year's Agriculture Open Day. This is according to Extension Officer Kyron Phillip, manager of the Potworks Estate. We also we have like um, seven thousand pounds to be sold at the open day. This, the variety is is really variety. We started planting it in September. Um, we planted also in November and in December, so they can come in in unison uh, for the next year. Onions will be sold for $1 per pound at the Agriculture Open Day, scheduled to take place on Thursday 26th and Friday 27th March 2020. We plan for this Open Day and during the year we plan vegetable crops such as potatoes, watermelon, um, honeydew, pumpkin, all those other vegetable crops. Extension Officer at the Potworks Estate, Kyron Phillip. The new coordinator of the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, AICA delegation to St. Kitts and Nevis paid a courtesy call on Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, on Thursday, March 12th. Sharon Jones, who was accompanied by Greg Rollins, AICA representative in the Eastern Caribbean states, thanked Minister Jeffers for his warm welcome. Um, I'm bringing with me over 30 years of agricultural mm -hmm. experience, and to, which I intend to use um, tremendously in this new endeavor. Um, I'm passionate about agriculture, mm -hmm. I'm passionate about development, and I'm very passionate to see farmers get richer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, because we all know it's a business that they're engaged sure. in, so I really think that I can make a difference. And I do intend to make a difference. So, so we'll work together and we'll raise the um, industry as we go along. Jones replaces Augustine Merchant, who retired from the post in October 2019. I believe she's up to the task based on her experience and her expertise. And I'm certain that her exploits here on the island of Nevis and St. Kitts will be one that we'll reflect on in a few years and since she would have done a wonderful job. So I want to welcome you Ms. Jones and I, I wish you well in your new um, position here in St. Kitts and Nevis. As the Minister of Agriculture I expect to work closely with you and, and to ensure that uh, some of the things that we would have accomplished before we can build on those and introduce new training and uh, new products and new areas of development in agriculture here on the island of Nevis. And I believe the sky is the limit when it's all said and done because you have that vast knowledge of agriculture. We have um, some bright you know, future ahead of us and I believe that agriculture should be the beneficiaries of our effort and our efforts and I, I do wish you well and welcome you once again. The AICA representatives also met with Senior Minister the Honorable Eric Evelyn, a former Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, as well as Junior Minister the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams. Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley is making an appeal for more Nivisians to join the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force. His call came at the recent Constables Awards ceremony and dinner hosted by the Strategic Planning Group of the Nevis Division of the Police Force. As I look at the constables who are to be awarded and we look across the force in the island of Nevis and I'm identifying now with the island of Nevis. There are not too many divisions in the force. The police force, however, is a noble profession and I would like to use this rostrum to encourage the young people to enter the force. It is a noble profession, and it is a profession where others, even some of whom are now gathered here, have demonstrated that they could live a lifetime and give a lifetime of service. The theme of the Constable's Awards ceremony was Police and Community Taking Back Our Society. In light of this, Premier Brantley, who is the minister responsible for security in Nevis, gave some advice to police officers who have been recruited from other territories. I'm encouraging you when you come to learn Nevis. That to me is part of community policing. When you get a call and a man says, I'm up in Stony Hill and somebody's breaking into my house, 
I believe you should know where Stony Hill is. And I encourage you not to go just to the station and then back to your home. Part of the community policing effort. Superintendent David, I'm encouraging you to encourage the others and encourage yourself, since you're not from Nevis either, to walk around and learn the communities. Learn the community, because I think that that helps in our ability to respond and respond effectively. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Still to come. So we thought that it was a good idea to partner with them to continue this initiative. The details right after this break. Hand washing should take you about one minute. Use a timer or count from one to ten in each of the following steps. Wet hands with water and apply enough soap to cover all surfaces of the hands. Let the water run smoothly to avoid touching the tap later on. Rub hands palm to palm to obtain a good quantity of foam. Then rub right palm over the back of left hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Rub again palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub the back of your fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked, repeating this action for each hand. Rub rotationally left thumb clasped in right palm and vice versa. To clean the tips of the fingers, rub rotationally backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rinse hands thoroughly with running water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single-use towel. If the tap is not elbow operated, use this towel to turn off the tap without touching it directly. Your hands are now clean and safe. Welcome back. The St. Christopher and Nevis Fire and Rescue Services hosted a fire emergency workshop for the management and staff of the St. Kitts, Nevis, and Anguilla Trading and Development Company Limited, TDC. Facilities Manager Alphonse Pennyfeather outlined the purpose of the training. Uh, the purpose of this training is to sensitize staff as to what they need to do in the event of an emergency, especially fires. Um, it's very easy sometimes to think that persons should know what to do, but we want to ensure that they're fully aware of what to do in the event of a fire, that they can handle a fire extinguisher. They know where they need to um, congregate, should they have to evacuate the building, and all these other things, just to ensure that at the end of the day, we don't have a situation where there's an emergency and staff are unable to react in an appropriate manner to deal with these other situations. The workshop took place on Thursday, March 12th, 2020, at the TDC Conference Room at Pinnis Estate. The Trade and Consumer Affairs Department in the Nevis Island Administration is doing its part to preserve the environment by partnering with the Maud Cross Preparatory School and the Ministry of Agriculture. Laurencia Tyson Clark is the director of the department. The department has chosen to adopt the Maud Cross Preparatory School to do different projects and the main project that we are here to do this morning is planting some trees. We have chosen to partner with the agriculture department in the 10,000 trees that they are supposed to be planting around the island. So we thought that it was a good idea to partner with them to continue this initiative. And we thought the school can benefit from some of these trees. Ellen Grant is the principal of the Maud Cross Preparatory School. We think it is a timely gesture for them to come on board at a time when we are hearing that soon we may have to plant our own food, grow our own crops, since we are being affected by the coronavirus across the world. And so I am pleased to note this morning that the Ministry of Trade and Consumer Affairs think it fit, very fitting gesture to come on board and adopt the Maud Cross Preparatory School. According to Clark, the Trade and Consumer Affairs Department has plans to implement other projects throughout the year from which the Maud Cross Preparatory School can benefit. 
That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Felicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.